In a traditional minerals processing flow sheet, the run of the mine is transported to the minerals processing plant using shovels and trucks. The plant feed is fed to the primary crusher where rock size reduction begins. Quite often, this is followed by secondary crushing. The crushing output feeds into a fine grinding circuit through a stockpile. In the fine grinding circuit, wet processing of the rocks happen and further particle size reduction happens in an attempt to liberate minerals from the gang in the later stages. Together, crushing and grinding consume more than 3% of world's total consumption of energy only in an attempt of particle size reduction. As high-grade deposits deplete, it makes it very expensive and energy intensive to transport, crush and grind huge volumes of low-grade ore bodies which often contain high proportions of barren gang. As a result, at the end of wet processing, a lot of fine tailings are generated before valuable minerals concentrate is recovered. Now this is where pre-concentration comes in. Pre-concentration methods like bulk ore sorting help to remove barren and waste material early enough in the minerals processing. And when combined with other planet positive offerings like underground crushing and in-pit conveying and crushing, it has a potential to significantly reduce transportation needs and costs. Rejecting waste early in the process using bulk ore sorting techniques significantly reduces the amount of energy required in crushing and grinding stages. Also, there is more coarse waste generated that can create a secondary revenue stream for aggregates instead of having to find storage solutions for fine tailings. In effect, the same quantity but improved grade of concentrate is produced with significantly lower transportation costs and energy consumption, far lower water and reagents consumption and significantly reduced environmental footprint. Ore sorting when deployed with other planet-positive technologies results in a planet-positive flow sheet and significant reduction in carbon emissions.